Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I just wanted to do a quick video with HB tuners. Uh, recently I had my car out. I just put 390 gears in it. It had 323s in it. And I had a little shifting issue. I'll show you what that is right here. Okay, I thought that was caused because I had the shift points uh, set a little too high, but turns out I actually made a mistake somewhere else, and I'm going to show you today on uh, where I made my mistake, plus it'll show you how to change it yourself if you happen to change gears and you have HP tuners. So we'll open up HP tuners, the VCM editor. Okay, so we want to load up the tune we want to change, which in this case I made a couple. Uh, these two tunes right here are, are identical, and I just want to, I'm going to use this one, this is the one I'm going to change. And then you can also load up a compare file. I'm going to load up that second one, this one here just so we can compare the differences between them after I change the first one. Okay, so we'll go in here, we'll look at the trans. The two tunes are identical, and I'll show you how you can tell. We'll go into this one, okay. And this here, this is your tune that you got loaded. This is the one that will change if you make changes. This one here will not. But we'll load up the compare file and see how they're identical. So I'm going to go to the first one, and I'm going to change that to 43. I'll go ahead of that, and then you see how this changed, the color of it. That means right now i got two tunes loaded up, and there's one of them's different. And it's this, the original one that I changed 43. And then when I hit that one, see, it's still 44. And then this one here will show you the differences between the two. Okay, I just wanted to show that. I don't know how helpful it'll be, but I'm going to change this back to 44. Okay, see how the, the color changed on here. Okay, so what we're actually here to do is, is for me to show you where the mistake I made, plus it'll show you how to actually change the tune. So you hit this edit button, and HP Tuner's got like a calculator, I'm not sure what you call it, but it, it helps with the gear chains. And it's under Gear Tire Wizard. So I'm going to open that up. And this is the 323 gears that the tune actually has now. And this is where I made the mistake, is right here. This is your tire size, 24.91. That's actually not correct, and I never changed it. Because I thought, I just assumed it was the right tire size, because this here is from the stock tune. So anyway, what I got to do is you can open your web browser and go to what they call, uh, it's tiresize.com. It's got a tire calculator. Now, where I've already used this has already got the, the size of the tire that's actually on the car. But anyway, we'll, I'll type it in again. My car's got 275, 40, whoops, 40. 17 and then you hit calculate like i said i've already done it so it's already in here but normally these would all be empty so the actual diameter of my tire is 25.7 so i'll go back to hp tuners i'll type in 25.7 and my new gears are 390 so you put in 3.90 and then hit adjust and adjustment complete so now when we go in and look at the, the those tunes are going to be different okay so we're going to go back into trans and it's pretty neat uh hp tuners don't just change the gear ratio for you they change all the shift uh points and you look how these have all changed color remember these used to be be like 43 through here this is this is the the other tune that's not been changed and then when you hit this one to show the differences you can see all the differences right here and that's that's why i had trouble 
hitting the rev limiter is because when I done this, I just used the tire size that was already in there and it was incorrect. So I was actually, uh, the speedometer was off and it wasn't shifting properly. But this here, now it does, and I've already tested it, so I know it works. I'm just going to show you the other difference. Go over here to speedometer, and these these are the changes that HP Tuners also did without me doing anything. This is the original tune, and this is after the change. And it's very accurate because I've already tested it. Now, how you can test it. Uh, I test. I, I got lucky. There happened to be a, like a radar sign, uh, not too far from where, I, from where I live. But another way you could test it is use a GPS. Some of the old GPSs used to have. Uh, they give you this the speed. I don't know if uh, Google Maps does or not. You'd have to check it. But if not, you can find an app on on your phone that would. Uh, use GPS to, to give you your speed. But anyway, this is very accurate, like I said, because I've tried it out, and I'm going to show that here in just a minute. Anyway, guys, I'm not an experienced tuner, I've and I'm definitely not a good teacher, but I do know how to show a couple things. If you guys find this uh, video helpful, uh, just hit thumbs up, and maybe I'll make a few more that are just simple, uh, just simple videos using HP tuners. But if you really want to learn how to tune, I, for me, the best place was uh, Goat Rope Garage. And he's on YouTube, and he shares lots of uh, tips on tuning. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Okay, guys, I'm going to set the cruise control for 62 kilometers an hour. Or actually, I think I got this... That's probably 62, 63, because I forgot this is in miles per hour. And I'm going to check the speedometer, and you'll see how just right as soon as we get around this corner. Sixty-two. So I got it right on this time. Before it was off just a little bit, but now we got it right on the money.